Hello there, each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Checking and Chatting. We haven't done one in a while. As you know, I only do this broadcast when I have something to check in and chat about, okay? <laughs> so I want to thank each and every one of you for, for joining me. Um, we are broadcasting via Facebook Live, Periscope, and Twitch, and not to mention it will be on YouTube later. And of course, you are listening uh, in our Check in and Chat podcast. So thank you guys so much for joining. And I see some people are already watching uh, via, uh, via our website. Um, but if you are able to um, leave a comment in the comment section, please take advantage of that uh, and let me know where you are watching from, even if you're watching on the replay, okay? So make sure you uh, tune in with that. And so... Um, I am going to be talking about starting and maintaining your own business. And of course, we're going to be talking about the Hustle Hub, how that helps you in that. And um, this guest that we have is really not a stranger. Uh, she has been on Checking and Chat before. And so um, good to see each one of you. Make sure that you greet me so that I can greet you. Um, and so we're going to bring her on right away. And we're going to talk about it. We're not going to be on really, really long, but we do want to talk about it. And I'm going to give her a chance to, um, introduce herself. Um, and she is an amazing person has done a lot of amazing things and she is a business owner in her own right. So without further ado, I want to add on Dr. Annette West. Hello there. Greetings. Greetings. Good to see you. You too. So um, tell us a little bit about you, and um, then we'll go on with our topic at hand. Well, uh, just a little bit about me. I am a woman that is on purpose and on fire to do the will of the Lord. That's the most important thing, to bring sunshine wherever I go. I um, have the holistic wellness, mind, body, spirit is my primary ministry, where we focus on not just what we intake physically into our bodies, what we eat, but also taking care of our mind, our thoughts, our actions, our spiritual walk with the Lord as well. And then um, my other primary right now is uh, my publishing company, um, getting that moving uh, forward, helping people to publish their books and or self-publish um, and be their coach if that's what they desire. So I'm just excited about the new year 2021 and just I'm um, looking so Looking forward to so much more that God has in his predestined plan for us. Wow. I love that. Yes. I am looking so forward to this. And I thought it was just apropos to do all of this in our beginning of our new year. Um, and for those who may be watching in the future, it's 2021, but the information definitely will be applicable. There may be some uh, additional things that we may add, but that's why we want you to connect with us and we'll give you an offer uh, in regards to that a little later on. So we want to talk a little bit about starting our own businesses. I know that you own your own business, but you also um, have your own ministry. And I say to people that ministry is a business, okay? Um, we know that, you know, the church is a living organism. We know the church is the people. And say, the same thing with ministry, really. It's ministry is the people and the service that you do for God's people. But um, you have to have a business mind uh, to, to do that. So let's talk a little bit about the business mindset in ministry, in uh, business itself. What type of mindset do you think that one ought to have when they're doing business, whether it's in ministry or just straight business? Well, for me personally, I start out looking at it as everything I do, it belongs to God anyway. So yeah. therefore, so therefore, no matter what it is, it's going to be God's business. He may be allowing me to be the vessel in this season that is being used to uh, to do this particular thing. But I believe, you know, all honor is is to Lord is to the Lord and that he has everything. And of course, he just pours into us through our faithfulness to him, you know. And so um, I believe that first you have to realize as a Christian that you got to give it all to God, give God his recognition first. And um and, and, you know, just recognizing that we are as business people, as Christians, we are leaders. And therefore, we have to move in such a way that it brings glory to the Lord and also that we are able to shine in everything that we do. So I really believe that, you know, as we're moving forward in business, you know, you can't take God out of it. Yeah. 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 That's so good. And that's so true. It's so true. Um, 
And so uh, when we talk about business and having a business mindset, I think two people ought to have a desire uh, for whatever they're doing. If it's, if it's, um, you know, business in reference to a ministry and you're doing it in a business like fashion, um, you ought to have a heart for that. But also too, when we're talking about straight up business, uh, trade and, and service and all of that, I believe you ought to have a heart for it, a passion for what you do, or at least see a need and fill it and have a passion to do that. Um, and so, uh, let's get right into, cause you know, this time goes by quick, <laughs> it goes really quick. So I wanted to talk about the hustle hub business club, yes. uh, which you are a part of. And for those who are not aware of the hustle hub business club, it is a place where you can start and develop your business. You can create, learn how to create streams of income and um, discover job alternatives. So yes. that is really, really important. And you know, God gave that to me um, actually last year. Um, and, and I actually have been talking about this type of thing for years, for years. But little did we know that we really would need it in the year that we just passed during the pandemic and while we're going through the pandemic right now. Can you talk about the importance of uh, business ownership, creating streams of income, or just finding other alternatives other than your regular nine to five. Well, I haven't had a nine to five in so long. <laughs> I, I know, me too. It's, it's been like over 20 years since I've had a nine to five. Um, I won't say that I work less. Um, if anything, I probably work more, but at least I get to do it in the combined in the confines of my own space, and I get to move and engage as I see fit for what needs to be done. So I think if um, if one's heart desire is to not have the standard nine to five, then start building some revenue that'll help you to gradually transit. Don't jump, just mm -hmm. gradually transition from it so that you'll have things things in place. But I think. There's always more that we can do. And I hear people all the time who have nine to five jobs, you know, eight to four jobs. And they're always talking about what they would do if they didn't have that job. But I also found out that during this pandemic, they really didn't want to do too much because now that they was home, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't. So, you know, saying you want to do something and actually putting forth the effort is two different things. But I think, uh, Tony, the Hustle Hub really will benefit, it benefits me, but I believe it will really benefit everyone um, because it challenges us to step away from ourselves and come to hear somebody else speak. And I think sometimes as business owner, entrepreneurs, leadership, leaders, we get caught up in everything that we're doing and we forget that we need, we need other people. We need we need to see what other people are doing. We need to uh, collaborate with other people so that some of those um, intellectual juices can start flowing because it's easy to become stagnant when you are in your own corner. Ooh, that is so true. And look, I want to unpack that, but I want to get back <laughs> to, it's some of this good stuff. I don't even know if we're going to get to all of it in this time, but there's so many good things you said. So I want to get back to others, working with others in a moment. But before we do, before someone says, well, you know, I don't want to start my own business. I, you know, I'm not interested in any of those things. You have two different types of people. You have people who have the desire to do that. Um, but then you have people who are not, they don't have that desire. And what we're saying is that not everyone is going to be a business owner. We get that. But you should have a desire to have various streams of income. Because as the pandemic has taught, and I have been saying for a long time, you cannot rely on that one source, okay? Because something may happen to that yes. one source. And so you want to make sure you have various sources so that if one dries up, you've got, you know, seven or eight other ones that you can, that you can go to. And so please, as you are watching, keep that in mind. So now let's fast forward what you said about others um that is so true many of us who have started businesses or who have cre uh, created streams of income or who have hobbies that are making us a little something you know some supplemental income sometimes we want to do more or our ministries our ministries our services our nonprofits. we try to do a lot of that on our own and you talked about the camaraderie that we have on the hustle hub Let's talk a little bit about that. First of all, how important that is and 
personally, what do you feel? Um, because you're part of the Hustle Hub. What is your feelings about the camaraderie in the group? Well, I, th I think if I wasn't the first person to join, I was close there. Uh, <laughs> I think you were the I think you were the inaugural person. <laughs> and um, when I first heard about it, I was like, I wanted to be a part of something, and I I had many opportunities, but I didn't just want to jump to the first thing that I saw. And I also wanted to have uh, feel like I had a rapport, a relationship developing with the per person that I was going to connect with um, in this dynamic. So that's one of the reasons why I didn't tap into the other ones. And some of those other people are doing great things, but you can't jump on everything. But I think it's important to um, have that fellowship, that kononia, um feel drawn to whoever is leading the process. And so that was it for me. Um, after we worked together on the um, opp the opportunity um, conference, I just felt connected to the ladies that were a part of that. And so um, when you mentioned that, I was like, yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to be right up there in this because yeah. I think it will be something great. And one of the things I was just telling one of my ministry partners this morning is, don't not do what you're being led to do and because you see so many other people doing it because there's enough women in this world that you're not going to tap into all of them anyway. Mm -hmm. And so we don't have to worry about stepping on anybody else's toes right. with what they have or pulling from what somebody else is doing. We just need to focus in. And that's what I liked about um, what Tony was talking about in pulling this together. She wasn't trying to go off into what other people were doing, but just being led um, on this direction for this particular season. And I just know that there are a lot of people who really need this. And I'm just hoping that they're going to really, you know, jump in, not just even just jump in, but really be a part of it because it's right. easier to, to pay your money into something and, and then let life kind of crowd it. Right. Absolutely. But we have to be focused and intentional about where we put our money and then say, because I put my money here, I'm going to do everything that I possibly can. Right. Um, you started, when did you start this August, September? It was in August. Okay, so in August. I may September, have missed you're right, September. <laughs> okay, so I may have missed a couple of things and I get frustrated when I miss something because I know it's gonna be tasty and then I miss it. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, you say so many great things in there. Um first I believe that people struggle so much on their own trying to get information and knowledge. Yes which, you know, it can take a lifetime sometimes, you know, trying to learn something could take 10 years. It could take a lifetime. It could take two years and you have to weigh whether you have that time for that type of learning curve. Yeah. Also, I think that we have to learn, and I've been in business over 30 years. Um, we have to learn to humble ourselves for instruction. Now I want to say this, I am not, um, the key person, you know, we're getting this off the ground, but people within the group share all the time and certain people will start being elevated within the group to share even more because they have expertise. So in other words, we have people who have a long history of business and ministry and projects and services. And then we have some people who are very new. We will be talking to someone who's very, very new uh, later this week. So make sure guys you tune in. We'll be talking to various people about the hustle hub. And so when you come, you could be, have no clue what you're doing all the way to someone who's very seasoned because we're there to help one another. So hopefully we will be more productive because, because I believe we can get more done together than we can apart. Yes. So while you're trying to knock your head against the wall, <laughs> trying to figure something out and, and lengthening your learning curve, you can shorten it. Um, I, I can't think of something specific right now in the group, but maybe you'll think of something, uh, Dr. Annette, where we had someone who was rather new and they were asking some questions, um, you know, and for us, for those who may have been more seasoned, it was very simple, but for them, it was difficult until we said, oh, well, you just need to do X, Y, Z. You would have to pay so much money yes. to find that out. And the Hustle Hub is so inexpensive. It's actually less than 67 cents a day. Can you talk about the learning curve and the things that you could learn from there that, I mean, you would, you would spend too much money trying to find out on your own? That's very true. I know, you know, from, from experience, um, 
you know, people have come to me and, and we got to talking about something and they'd be like, it was just that simple to get that. You know, it's like, I've been trying to find this. So I've been asking people and they've been putting me off, but then it's like, boom, there's a light bulb right there, that light bulb moment. And I think that's what the hustle, the hustle hub does. And here's the thing, no matter how seasoned we are, there's always more that we can learn. There's yeah. always reminders that we need to have. Yeah. There's always something that we can glean. And even when we have uh, new people who really are just starting out, they bring a fresh perspective. So that means we get to open up our minds even more and dig into what we know to pull it out and to help someone else. And so I think uh, that's what I see happening um, with, with the Hustle Hub. Um, Tony does a dynamic um, master uh, session every month. Um, and then there's a Q&A behind it. So she doesn't just come and share, but everybody has the opportunity to dialogue and ask questions. And then she also has the uh, collaboration station, which is so good because it's just coming in and talking about your projects, um, accountability, because she always brings back to, okay, when we met the last time, you were working on this, you were talking about this. How far have you gotten now? What's your status? You know, what are you in, what do you need of? What's the next step? So it's always like, don't say what you're going to do, because the next time you come, you'll be like, well, what happened? Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Let's talk about those two things, because we were limited a little bit um, because of the pandemic, because there are some things that we'll do in person, of course, but but I will say the mastermind session and the collaboration station is worth more than you pay. Okay. When you compare it to what people will charge you just to find out information. And so let's talk about the mastermind session first and then the collaboration station. The mastermind session is designed to uh, bring a 15 minute lesson and to you know solicit Q and A. Although you can ask questions that have nothing to do with the lesson, if in fact it's on your mind, because we would rather get that clarified. Um, and so we try to bring lessons that go range from simple to uh, complicated to uh, eventually also adding, because I can't wait till the tech guy comes. We're gonna have the tech guy come in. We're gonna have so many different things, different people come in to share. Um, to help our businesses and our ministries and all this grow for a little bit of money. So um, the Q and A's, what I particularly like about it is that people can ask whatever they want at, at the moment. But also what I love about it is that I'm facilitating, but everybody's answering questions because, mm -hmm. you know, I did own a daycare center, but let's just say I never owned one before. And someone asked something about licensure uh, in regards to that, someone in the group may have that answer. And if you try to go around to find that answer or you had to sit in your courses or dig down deep or pay extra money to find out, you would have to pay a lot of money for that. So uh, what do you think about the Q&A and the fact that people um, can kind of answer as well? I have to agree with you. I know um, I, in my um, some of my coaching, you know, it's you know, 75 to a hundred dollars for 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I pay what $19 and some change every, once a month, uh, mm -hmm. to be a part of the hustle hub. So, um, you know, like you say, it's, it's pennies, it's pennies per day when you look at the overall of it. And I think the fact that, um, members are allowed to ask questions because you know i've been a part of things before was like you know we just want to share you share with you what we have and we're not really interested in what you have to say yeah, yeah. you know we want you to come we want you to bring your money but we don't want to hear you and so mm -hmm. what i like about this um business forum is that um tony wants to hear it and everybody that's a part of it wants to hear it too so um that that and we've had some really um, there be our sessions are becoming more engaging as people, as more the people are coming in and people understand the flow because initially you people have to get used to it. But I, I think that the questions are starting to come more. Um, everybody's willing to jump in and share from their from their perspective, and I think that's what it's all about: being able to um, ask and receive. Absolutely. And um, that brings me to the collaboration station. So the idea behind the collaboration station is that every business owner, ministry leader, um, nonprofit owner, 
uh, people who sell products and services who have streams of income uh, each one of them have goals and objectives and different things that they want to accomplish the collaboration station allows you to come in and say I need help with this or I need three or four people to participate in this um, I want to get this off the ground but I'm gonna need you know some people to come in with me so you can announce what you're going to do and we will you know try to fill those needs based off what people are interested in doing and so out of that we've had conferences we've had books done we've had uh, projects we've had people work on products and services I believe is what we call a business positive peer pressure, you know, because um, we don't whip, you know, it's not a whip and chain thing. You no. know, and we don't judge you if you don't get things accomplished, but we gently remind you, uh, hey, were you working on, is that still a go or do you think you want to trash it and work on something different? But I find that it makes it, um, it, 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 it motivates you. What do you think about that collaboration station? It does, um, because I know from one month to the next, we'll talk about one thing, what I'm doing or something, and I don't think about it, I'm just doing it through the month, you know, doing whatever. But then when we come back and we get the question, oh, you were working on such and such, how was that going? Then it's like, oh yeah, I was working on that. This is what has happened. Oh yeah, I did finish that. Or, oh, well, here's the process of where I am now. Or, oh, maybe, um, oh yeah, but I had to stop because of this, but I'm going to get back to it. So it's, I think it's great. Um, reminders right yeah yeah it does it's accountability i think that's the word what's that again accountability ah yes yes i thought that's what you said um yeah accountability and and and, and it's a no judgment accountability zone yeah so if you say well you know i wanted to trash this because at least you have thought out the process and you have visited what you said you were going to do Yes. Um, especially among our women entrepreneurs, ministry leaders, etc., there's so much that pops up in our lives that can pull us away from what we say we're going to do. Now, I may be speaking to the choir because you have been very, very productive in the group. I mean, you have just really been involved. You've been like staying the task with your with your projects, and um, you've actually been really, really fruitful. You know, in the group, which is that's something that we want for everybody. Um, and so for those who are listening, I don't want you to feel like when you get in, you got to have a project no. and you got to finish it from beginning to end, but that information is there for you. Sometimes you just want, I think we had somebody who just wanted to sit and listen, I think, mm -hmm. and, um, and that's okay. That's okay. Uh, but what happens is if you're in the room, it will affect you. If you're yeah. in the room where people are writing books, if you're in the room where people are starting businesses and, and have projects and one time we all were going to work on products. If you had services, but you never had products, you had to work on products. Or if you had products, but no services, you had to work on services. So that uh, really stimulates each and every one of us. Well, we have just a, a few more minutes uh, to talk about the Hustle Hub. Let's talk about the price, okay? <laughs> Let's talk about the price. I said it's less than 67 cents a day. And you say it's how much a month? I think it's 19 something. My, what I'm paying, what I'm feeding into it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's 19 it's a month. Okay. Um, and you're absolutely right. Um, we do have two levels, but the bottom level is about to be removed because the price 1995 is too good for you to pass up. Cause sometimes when people see a cheaper price, they'll go for the cheaper price and they don't even know what they getting for the cheap. <laughs> well, you know, if, if I was going out to the restaurant, that'd just be one meal. Right. That'd and be one dinner out that month. It one dinner <laughs> out. It's, it's, it's more than, and I'm not a coffee drinker, but what is it? Cappuccino? You know, I order frappe or latte or something, but mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, after you, told you me probably can get three of those. But mm -hmm. then somebody told me it's about seven. Is that right? Okay. So if you had one of those every day, let's just say it's five, but five times five from Monday to Friday is $25. 25 times four is $100. That's way over what we are charging. And let me tell you, sometimes people uh, don't see the value. That's why they don't, you know, they don't realize but once you get out there and you try to get some training on starting your own business or creating streams of income, you'll yes. see people are charging thousands of dollars. Yes. Thousands of dollars. 
And then you'll see some people may charge hundreds, but they're not telling you much of anything. They'll show you the sketch or the outline of it, and then they leave you out to your, your own. So I believe that the 1995 is amazing value. I believe that you get the value from the mastermind session alone. Um, yeah. But, but in fact, and I probably should have uh, had it set up to share my screen for some of the things that you get uh, for the benefits. What do you say about the value? Oh, most definitely. I mean, I know I'm getting, I'm getting a lot, but what I'm thinking of in respect, because it ain't not all, I'm not looking at the picture just like you are, but what we have the mastermind, we have the collaboration station, we have um, free resources at times, mm -hmm. we have discount resources, we have um, home business promotion. So just those things in itself, we have the ability to ask a question at any time, not even when there's a live something going on, but just right. post the question and anybody can respond to it. So we have the ability to do a lot of things. I'm going to put the link in so I can look at it myself because I know some of them, but some of the, the, the uh, benefits are seasonal depending. It was a long list. So let me, let me go over some of this list here with you. Uh, as we're starting to wrap up, um, you have on the boss bait level, which is 1995 a month, you have the invaluable information on business issues like you talked about, which that includes a lot of um, newsletters. You contact, you have contact with my uh, like mind business entrepreneurs. You have biz news and event listings. You also get an opportunity to have an article submission to the Hub, Hustle Hub magazine. Now that is seasonal and will be forthcoming. Uh, 10 informational biz cafe meetups. Those are in person. And because of the pandemic, of course, we're not doing those, but we do uh, have our um, masterminds and hustle hubs I mean, and uh, collaboration stations to meet up. 50% off vending at hustle hub events, private Facebook community, discounts on products, biz spotlight, ratings and reviews, marketing services, share your expertise. Free training, speaker series, mastermind sessions, meet, meet and mingle in best venue across the region. I like that one because that's different than the um, Biz Cafe. The Biz Cafe is more casual and you may or may not talk about anything, you know, and particularly just maybe just hanging out and, and networking. But the meet and mingle in best venues across the region is where we go to like elite places and, you know, have either lunch or whatever. Uh, just to kind of get us around uh, a whole nother clientele. Uh, and then the other two things is business directory and social media blitz, which all of those things are amazing. And like I said, uh, some are seasonal and depending on uh, what's going on at the time. So we are down to the wire now with one last minute to go. I want to thank you, Dr. Annette West. But before we go, can you tell us how to reach you? And the reason why we're doing this is because you have been our biz spotlight member so could you please tell us how to contact you or anything that you're promoting at the time you can you can contact me through uh dr annette westministries.org all my different um missions are listed there there's a separate page for each thing you can reach me through there um there is um i will be having a sisters of valor um, Centered in Christ retreat the end of this month. I've asked uh, Tony to be a part of that. So um, we would love for you to be a part of that. If you're interested, just message me at Jetne Publishing, J-A-T-N-E Publishing at gmail.com and I'll send you a flyer, get you the information. Uh, we'd love to have you. And it's at a nominal fee of $21 for the year 21. <laughs> that is amazing. For a six and a half hour retreat. Wow. In social media. <laughs> that is great. Yes. That is great. Thank you, Dr. Annette. West Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I will talk to you soon. Definitely. Bye-bye. And so listen, dear ones, thank you so much for joining us and checking in the chat. We, um, we, we thank you so much. And I pray that you got something out of it and that you will join us over at 
the Hustle Hub Business Club, which is bit.ly forward slash Hustle Hub. Notice that all of the letters are lowercase. It is case sensitive. Well, I've got to go. And remember, you can visit me on the web at www.wisecourtship.com. I'm on social media all over the place is Wise Courtship or Tony Henderson Mayors. And of course, please visit me over there at the Hustle Hub. I believe you're going to be blessed by it. And take care. Well, hello there, each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell. Click it for me so that you will know anytime I upload a new video. <laughs>